Hey, 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 hello! This is Miss Sam from 123A, and today we're gonna test prep with expanded notation. Make sure you watch all the videos so you can learn how to answer any test with expanded notation. And I'm also be giving a shout out. Let's get this party started. It says Julia jump 67 and 4300 inches. That sounds weird, but okay. How is this number written in expanded notation? Uh, we have A, B, C, and D. But I always try to solve this on my own, so let's look for the keywords. Let me get my highlighter. So Julia jumps 67 and 4300. What do you notice here? It has the TH. When it has TH, it means that it's decimals. And when we have decimals, what do we do? Our place value chart. So they want to know how is this number written in expanded notation. So let's write the number first. Okay, so the number, first of all, it's written like this. 67 okay so those are whole numbers 67 and this and is this a decimal point and 4300 once again I know that these are decimals because of the th and since you see the th here is decimal th so 4300 if you watch my other video this is how we read the number 67 and 4300 so now that we know how the number looks like let's convert it into expanded notation the value of this 6 is 60 because it's 67 the value of this 7 evidently is 7 and the value of this 4 well we have to do some decimal multiplication here and then we have the three so let's convert this let me change my color to let's see blue so this six is these are my ones these are my tens these are my tens 0 0.1 and these are my hundred 0 0.01 and then you just multiply this times this six times 10 plus this times this open parenthesis 7 times 1 plus this times this 4 times 0 0.1 plus this times this 3 times 0 0.01 and now let's look to see if we find this answer once again okay this pencil uh, uh, let me make some magic here magic 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 Ma oh there you go okay now we have the pencil on top of everything so this six is six times ten because it's sixty this seven is seven times one this is the place value of the one plus 4 times 0 0.1 because these are the tenths and 0.1 is 1 tenth 4 times 1 tenth and this is 300 so 3 times 100 and then this is 67 times 1 and 4300 so are these decimals? no so that's evidently not a good option bye bye next B 6 times 10, okay, this looks good. And then 7 times 1, looks good. 4 times 10, this is 40, 40 holes, so bye, arrivederci. Now let's look at C. 6 times 10, 60. 7 times 1, 7. 4 times 1, 10 yes and three times one hundred oh yeah 
heaven we found our answer but just in case we need to check option d just to make sure that they we didn't fall for a trick or something like that 60 plus 7 plus 40 plus 3 do you think this is the answer absolutely not this doesn't even have decimals so now i know with all of my heart singing hard that c is the correct answer c c c so thank you for watching this was an easy easy lesson and i'm gonna give a shout out to juan Sirius because he asked me today to be on the math team and that makes me extremely extremely a proud teacher so thanks for watching if you want a shout out let me know send me a message and i'll give you a shout out so thank you for watching like subscribe and share this video with other kids that are learning math see you next video bye bye